What's going on guys? Episode 5. Let's get it. So I kind of did an asshole move to you guys yesterday. I left you guys at home sitting on my desk in my office. So for one, I apologize for that. I'm going to get you guys up to speed on what happened yesterday really quick. Um, to be honest, it wasn't that exciting of a day. Keep an eye out for the end of the video. I will announce the winners of the Martinez nail puller and the eat sleep frame repeat t-shirt. So yesterday we got these 7x16 beams dropped into the floor system. Threw in, I think we had one joist that we were missing. Ran our staggered block line. Do, 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 do. So yesterday we made an absolute mess of this place up here. Got the majority of it sheeted out. So now that we've got this big beam dropped into here, we can hang her off of there for our cantilever deck. I wanted to give a huge shout out to Type 1 for hooking me up with all of our floor adhesive for this place. Thank you guys. But, like I said, you guys didn't miss out on a whole heck of a lot yesterday, so today will be a lot more interesting. Oh, what do we have here? Episode 5, I told you guys I would give away the Everwind Framing Coil Nailer. Here it is. Shoots three and a half inch nails, beautiful gun. Personally, I'm not a fan. Maybe one of you guys are. That doesn't mean it's not a good gun, though. If you want a chance to win this gun, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, drop a comment on this video, leave a like on this video as well, and you're good to go. I will announce the winner for this gun, along with a few other giveaways that I have in the upcoming episodes at the very end of this series. Don't worry, that's not a month away, that's not two months away. We're about a week or so out on this place being done. Look how easy this thing is to set up. All these goes out. guys a deal 500 likes on episode 5 I'll give away a brand new router and bit just like this so anytime you don't have a tongue to go into the groove you have to block it out like I'm gonna show you guys right now um, with as little as that strip is since that's our stairwell we're not gonna cut eight inches off of three different sheets so we'll go ahead and just cut it all out of one and then block in between each of the TJIs and that acts as your parameter nailing Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, you guys, we are having things. As you saw, these two by 12 that are ripped for slope just went in 11 and a quarter down to nine and a quarter. Seems really drastic, but it's what they call from the plant, so it's what we're building. We have one more to slap in there, one more up against our LVL. We installed our ledger for those guys there. You're having a blast in here, huh? Like you fit through the studs good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So here's something real quick for you. That's an inch and a half there. Hook that. We'll go 16, and then we'll say that's to it there. Now that could be a stud, that could be a raft, or whatever it may be. That's 16 inches on center right there. So in between it, it's 14 and 3 eighths. That is what we call a standard 14 and 3 eighths is the block number in between on 16 inches on center. Geo? Yep. Double. Okay, that's where we're gonna cut. So what we want to So we have a double hanger here for our two by 10 and that'll carry the end of these guys here. Those were all strung and then cut. We got our deck built. All of our rip for slope two by 12 are in. Block line all the way along the exterior there. Double two by 10 out here. A35 to be 32 inches all the way down. Money, baby, money. Oh shit, I'm losing her.
right, so we are sheeted out. This is sheeted, that is sheeted. We're sheeted out over there. I'm gonna get this last little strip in here. That guy there. Still have the deck to sheet, but that's it. I have to go to LA tomorrow, so we're wrapping up a little bit early and getting out of here. Go ahead and get this guy cut here. This guy cut here. And lastly, All right, you guys, what a day. Got this whole deck out here going. That's ready to shoot. We'll shoot that on Monday. I gotta get gone. I have a trip to go on tomorrow. I'm heading out to LA tomorrow morning. I take off at three in the morning. I'll get back around seven. I'm heading out there to hang out with the carpentry class while they put together a shed that they built. I'm gonna go out there and hang out for a bit while they assemble this thing. Uh, talk to some students. A few of them have messaged me on Instagram, so I wanna get out there, hang out with the kids. Got some nail guns to donate, so I'm gonna go out there, hang out for a bit, drop off some guns, have some fun. I am documenting the process of going to this high school, hanging out with all them. So there will be a video up of that before episode six. Keep an eye out for that. That is it for today though, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, drop a comment down below, leave a big old like. Let's hit 500 likes on this video, guys. I'll see you in episode six, bang on. Now I had a random number generator on Google, figured out a number for me, went and looked at the comments, found the comment, this is who won. The Martinez nail puller was Eduardo, sorry if I butcher your last name, Acevedo. Congratulations, buddy. And the t-shirt was won by Ryan C. You guys DM me on Instagram at Matt Bangswood or hit me up here on YouTube. I'll get some shipping info from you and get these out to you as soon as possible.